Got a lot of good ones, babe. Guys, relax. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are going to do a little family beach day at Carpinteria Beach in SoCal. So we're going to get ready. Oh, that's the windshield. No. Fit very well. You can hear the dogs want to go over here. That's done. All right, we got the top off. That's where it's staying for now. The boy's awake. He's ready to go. Who's that? It's YouTube. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, it's Nick Swartz in here. <laughs> no, my name's Tristan. No, this is Kara, wife, Ethan, stepson. The boy, that's his name. Anyways, we're off to Carpinteria for the day. Got the top off on the Jeep. That was a struggle, but we got it. We are on the way. Pull this, pull that. Pull that? Yeah. Not hard. Then at the bottom, put the weight, which is in my pocket. Hello! It's cold. We're doing a four ounce pyramid. We're gonna walk and get everybody lunch. Oh. And bring it back. What are we gonna okay. Take a loop, go through the hook. And then it grabs onto it like that. And that's it. Had a great walk. Look at all the seagulls. So this is what we're using, two inch sandworms camo, but made by Gulp. I like to stick it through once and then stick it again so it looks like that. Yeah, you want me to show you or are you good? I mean, it's like a normal rod, right? That'd be special. Yeah, just cast out as far as you can, but walk out there as far as you can first. Dude, Ethan, you can't, you can't do that. You gotta. That's too close to the people. Cause you didn't cast it right. Yeah. I, didn't see where it went. I did. I was oh. I was worried you were gonna hit the guy in the head. Yeah. Maybe you're a little rusty. Why don't you Why don't you put put the thing in back of you and cast straight out?
There you go. Now walk back here. So yeah, just let it, now you've got it closed, yeah. and then let the tension off. Dude, I don't know how I did that. Like, I, I literally, I don't know how it went. You gotta watch the tip. So how do you, like, what do you, what do you look for? Because obviously it's gonna move. Yeah, but it's gonna go, dit, dit, dit. if you want, I can give you a bell. I have a bell. No, but you'll know. Yeah, you'll know. All right, we got both poles set out. Now it's just time to wait. Purely seaweed, wow. Me too? Yep. Just keep getting hung up on seaweed. That's fun. I saw it tapping, so it's either seaweed again, or we actually got something. I see a big old seaweed. No. It's not bad. Definitely moving around more than the other time. That's <laughs> big pile of seaweed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's an eater. Huh? That's a, that's a legal size seaweed. <laughs> well, the poles are out there, but unfortunately, we're just catching seaweed right now. But the girls just came back and they brought yumminess. If you haven't visited the spot in. Carpinteria, you definitely need to. It's just a burger shack, but it's very yummy. Nothing biting here, so we're gonna walk down to the left down there, see if we can find some sort of rip current like conditions down there. walking up and down the beach all the way down that way all the way down that way well we had a couple hours out here to fish while we're out here at the beach Carpinteria, and we were looking for rip currents and troughs and we just got hung up by lots of seaweed we're trying out the uh, two inch sandworms from gulp and three weeks ago when I was out here, I was killing it. I was slaying them. Uh, surf perch. We were camping with the family. So I didn't record anything, but only had a couple hours to play. So we're going to pack it up and head home. It was nice hanging out with the boy. He's actually down from Colorado. That's where he lives. So he's leaving tomorrow. But it was nice for a couple hours to fish with him. Even though we only got seaweed, but I did catch a really nice burger and a good beer. So that's a plus.
Someone once told me if you can't catch fish, you better catch some memories. So for this day, memories it is. And to be honest, kids grow up too fast, and before we know it, they'll have careers and families of their own. So I'm thankful to have spent the day at the beach with them. Well, <laughs> we are all packed up, we're heading home. Ethan, what did you think about that fishing? Oh, it was pretty fun because we caught a whole lot of seaweed. <laughs> we'll have to dedicate some more time and maybe go in the open water the next time you're visiting. But it was a really fun day at the beach. And we're headed home. And it's going to be cold. Cold mm -hmm. ride home. So we'll catch you on the next one, guys.